yes, I bought another modern day box fan. As you can see, it's a Aerospeed Model BX100. That's from 2013. I actually got this for $10 through the site Letgo. And honestly, I think I paid a little too much for this damn thing. Especially considering that the two 200i's that I have were only $5 at Goodwill. And those were much better than this. A little history be with me and this company. Um, this... The, I originally had a Aerospeed BX100 back in 2010. That, along with the Leisure Ways box fans, were the first fans that I actually bought with my own money. So, it's kind of special in a way. But another thing that kind of made this company special in my eyes for a bit is that at the time, it seemed to be the only real decent box fan company out there compared to stuff like Lasco. I mean, now looking back on it, the Aerospeed wasn't much better, but compared to this, this is just awful. I mean, with the original Aerospeed, I actually gave that away to Goodwill after buying the first 200i, the one with the banana blades. And I even made a video on Aerospeed saying that it was a decent box fan on my main channel. But it seems after 2012, they really degraded the fans. Why do I say that? Well, for one thing, there were multiple reports of the fans caught, catching on fire in that year. When prior to that, the, the fans haven't caught fire. At least I haven't heard any reports of that. Another infamous thing about this box fan is how the blades seem to shatter due to how thin the plastic is. Also probably explains why it originally had a brace when it was under the Lakewood Company. I mean, I actually messed with the blades and it was pretty flimsy. In fact, there's actually a chip on one of them. Not major, but it's still there. But even with all that in mind, I thought the, at least the 2010 models were alright. But... 2012, things really seem to have gone wrong. I mean, admittedly, some of the condition of it was due to the previous seller not taking good care of it. I mean, aside from the chip, it's also got scratches. <laughs> it's got a nice crack on the back grill. I even ran these grills through the dishwasher. Uh, motor was filthy, as you saw from the photos. But then there's stuff that's just due to the design. For one thing, they, for whatever reason, made the wires face outward, similar to the Lasco, which I really don't get. But another thing I've noticed is how this handle is much more loose compared to the 2010 model I have. They also added the fuse. I mean, it honestly amazes me just how much they degraded in 2012. I mean, granted, it's not by much, but another thing about this fan is the capacitors. I've noticed a lot of people complaining about the capacitor going bad. There was actually one other video where they said the capacitor went bad, and it seems this has a similar problem. After just a few days, it wouldn't turn for a while until I left it running for a bit. It's like... It wouldn't start up at all, and no, the motor was not seized. The blades would spin freely, and I could hear the hum, but it would not start. I remember going upstairs on my computer, and then I hear a loud bang downstairs. Then I come rushing down and find this line on the ground with the fan, with the blades spinning at full speed, which I'm kind of surprised they didn't shatter, considering how flimsy these things are. So. I think that's also why most of those fans caught on fire, is because of these damn capacitors. And even then, the fan sometimes won't start at full speed, so either there's something wrong with the motor, or I have a really bad capacitor. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Who knows, maybe I'll keep it and try to fix it, or I might just destroy it if it pisses me off long enough, or it ends up breaking horribly beyond repair. Anyway, enough of that. Let's start off on hi.
<laughs> Keep in mind, I, this didn't come with feet, and it still can't blow itself over. It's kind of sad when you think about it, especially when you consider that this cap is pretty flimsy. Medium. And no. Yeah. yeah, honestly, it's honestly saddening considering that this company seemed to have some promise and then things immediately went downhill. I mean, I knew I wasn't expecting much when Aerospeed started in 2010, but considering that things seem to be a lot worse, such as the loose handle and the capacitor is not working right, this is just pathetic. But like I said, I'll try giving this a chance and see what happens. Who knows, maybe this still might be an okay fan for modern day standards. Of course, I don't have high hopes for that, but who knows. Bit too high. And off. Like I said, this might be an experimental fan. We'll see if it lasts or if it ends up breaking. Anyway, that's the Aerospeed BX100 from 2013. And I'll see you guys later.